I think people are just floored by what's going on around the world. I, I, mean, I don't even know if the, people don't even know what to say about this stuff anymore. It's just we have these sort of uh, monsters that are out there, and no one seems to know how to figure it out. And certainly, I think I, I, I think that you know at some point, you know, when these kinds of things happen, we we get ourselves on the same team. You know, I mean, these are horrible things, but they actually sometimes bring otherwise rivalries together because we all agree that this is something that's that we need to figure out how to stop. I think that next week talking about national security, talking about what we're going to do about ISIS is going to be something that we're going to have to focus on and, and in a respectful way and certainly not in a way to take advantage of anything because that would be totally inappropriate and that's not what I'm suggesting. It's a binary choice. If you want two more, three more Sonia Sotomayors in the Supreme Court, have at it. If you want to have someone that's going to sign a budget bill that Paul Ryan drafts, then we need to get to work. That's my message to those folks. He's reaching out to a lot of folks behind the scenes, you know, talking up with some people that you know I know is reported that there's a frosty relationship sometimes, but staying in touch with a lot of the leaders in our party. I know he's doing it behind the scenes because I know I'm getting updates on what's happening. And he's really making an effort to kind of just put some of these old rivalries to bed and working toward winning in November.